Now, welcome back. Now, last week saw the return of the third and final series of Ashes to Ashes. I'm delighted to say Dean and Montserrat join me now. The most important question first, how did you get your hair so curly? <laughs> I don't. Every morning a lovely lady puts little bendy rollers in and I kind of look a little bit... Uh, Upset? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too keen on it. But so that's not what the fans will think of Ray Carling doing, will they? No, well, he's kind of a hard guy, but you've got to see a softer side to him at some point, haven't you? I'm, and I'm the shocked. pink bendy rollers do that perfectly. Pink as well. <laughs> now, you were in the original, The Amazing Life on Mars. Mm. When you signed up for that, quite a few years ago now, had you got any idea it was going to be such a huge hit? I don't think anybody got any idea. We just knew it was a, 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 a very unusual concept for the time. There wasn't anything else around like that. Uh, but you, you'd never quite know. But after about after three or four weeks, they showed us maybe five minutes of what we'd done. And uh, you could see that it was something special uh, from then. And you just hope that it transferred, you know, uh, into the general public and that they enjoyed it too, which they thankfully did. And of course it had uh, the absolutely wonderful John Sim in it. And he doesn't seem to pick anything other than winners, does he? Well, I think he creates some of the winners. Oh, look, there's a picture of him there now. Sorry, sorry to just stop you there. Oh, you're infatuated with him. <laughs> He's just a brilliant actor, isn't he? He is a brilliant yeah, actor. Yeah. He's As are you, Dean, so carry on with your... <laughs> <laughs> no. I, th I think he creates some of the winners because of his, his abilities, you know, and, and uh, him and Phil, uh, they, just, they just clicked right from the moment mm. and uh, the chemistry between them was amazing and they're both brilliant actors. So they kind of created, you know, along with some great writing, great production, great support artists and things, you know, it became a, a fantastic piece of work. It is the writing, isn't it? And you get the chance to be politically incorrect on television. Well, the writers are amazing, aren't they? They are, yeah. I mean, it's nice for the boys to have the chance to do that. It's a bit harder for us women on the show. Absolutely. Um, but it's also good to show how, where we were and where we are now, which... It's a bit different, and you do wonder how people made it. Sometimes it's a bit different. Sometimes it feels exactly the no, same, no, doesn't it? Does it? But from your point of view, you joined at the, the sequel point of view. You, you joined at the start of Ashes to yeah. Ashes. Was that daunting, because life on Mars had just taken on a life of its own, really, hadn't it, to, to join a successful team and be the newcomer? Well, I kind of... Um, I'd seen Life on Mars and loved it, but for some reason didn't realise what a huge following it had. It sounds really silly. So it was only when we started filming and doing the press that I realised oh my gosh, it's a really big thing <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing it Did you keep any of the clothes, apparently? I did, I kept some, Shaz has got some great outfits Clever so move, you see You, you really? hit the, the right job oh. at the right time for, for what's <laughs> I in, know, in so I can wear it in the street <laughs> Now, all the fans are going to be obsessed with this final series and obsessed with, with the ending, that's, that's the key, isn't it? Is it true there's a rumour that John Sim is coming back? I don't think it'd be fair to say, really, no, would it? No, uh, it away. We, don't, we won't spoil it for anybody. When you were reading through that final script, because obviously it was probably ages ago now, because it was filmed a while ago, did you read through and go, oh, that's brilliant, or was it a little bit of a, oh, it's not how I thought it was going to be, but we can make it work? Honest opinions here. No, I loved it. I loved it too. They told us about it um, in the second series, what was going to happen, so I was quite excited when we got the scripts. Yeah, but... You kind of look at it and go, that's genius. I'd yeah. not thought of that at all. I yeah. hadn't anyway. I hadn't. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit stupid, but I'd not thought of it, and I just thought it was a great ending. I thought, oh, that answers everything, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all the answers are given, and Brilliant. I think people will be really happy with it. So much expectation from the fans. and Oh, um, don't say that. Gonna, yeah. Well, Goodness sorry, but, but it's like done it. now. You've done your bit. <laughs> I know, but we've still got to live through the next seven weeks, haven't we, wondering if they're going to like I'm us sure anymore. I'm sure they will. Montserrat and Dean, thank you so for much for joining me and great to have a fellow Yorkshireman on the sofa. Oh yeah, Thank come you. on the